we don't know whether Leia Salonga is going to be available. And I'm nervous because I don't know what the show is exactly without Leia. I've always just had her in the role. We're heading out to LA to see some new talent. This fall, the curtain rises on Allegiance, a new musical inspired by my own true life story. The team behind Allegiance is doing whatever it takes to open a musical on Broadway. Here is our story. My job is first and foremost to get people to get over the notion that this would be a show about the internment, how could that be a musical? The core message of the show, the core story, it's telling the story of a family and it's telling the story of these relationships and what happens to people that love each other when really, really harsh things happen around them. I have no doubt that if we get people to sort of take that step and come see the show, they will fall in love with the story, they will fall in love with these characters, they will fall in love with the score. And um, so that's the job of the marketing. That's what we're doing. The question I'm interested in is how do you invite people into the story? How do you invite them into the theater? How do you invite them into this topic? Which I think is the overarching thing that we're trying to figure out. I mean, this is the first major cultural event to explore this topic. There's not a movie, there's not a television show. So by that nature, it's groundbreaking. However, what it does is there's a reason perhaps why we haven't been ready to hear this story culturally, which is the shame that surrounds the issue. So, knowing that those, those are two lanes of the highway, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Ultimately, through the journey, that this show is, becomes feel good. Yeah. And a lot feel of people good, walking yeah. in think it's going to be a feel bad. Right. Yeah. Right. It's George's story. Mm -hmm. It's George mm -hmm. Takei's well, story. Was, yeah, was and that kind yeah. of just pairs the issue with the humanity of it and, George's and yeah. with, yeah. And with his right. person. Evacuation. More than 100,000 men, women, and children, all of Japanese ancestry, removed from their homes in the Pacific Coast states to wartime communities established in out-of-the-way places. The time, spring and summer of 1942. I was a kid in the Arkansas camp. Yeah. I went to school in one of these tar paper barracks, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I could see the barbed wire fence and the sentry tower with the machine guns pointed at us right outside my schoolhouse window While you're as I math. recited the words <laughs> right. to the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I was an innocent kid. Yeah, right. How old were you again when you five. were Five. You were five, and so you were there till you were... Five till nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you remember every second of that, probably. Well, as I remembered as a child. My memories are very real, sure. but they're Through a child's innocent. eyes, yeah memories yeah well I can, so this is but this one is actually from heart mountain from heart mountain that's where it. our story takes that's place that's right that's incredible can we actually go yes. inside oh and here's some baseball if we have you know yes 
We have a big number in and this. And my father show. was on our baseball team. Oh, he was? Both in uh, Arkansas and uh, Tulu Lake. This is sort of like camp life, basically, right. right? That's what people ask about the show sometimes is, you know, how do you make this a musical and not make people just, you know, plummet to the depth? But it's things like this that yeah. A, got on in perseverance, but B, you had to carry on. We had queen contests, so you had queen that. of Manzanar. You, you know, had baseball, you had bands, game. and we had basketball. The dances. We we created a, a community right. and life. Yeah, and that's what resilience is all about. Yeah, exactly. To be able to survive. Right. Well, Gaman was the first song I had truly written in collaboration with uh, George and with uh, Lea because um, I had gone to the Japanese American National Museum and George uh, told me, you know, there was a word my mother used to say to me, gaman. And I said, that's beautiful, what does that mean? And he said, it means to endure with dignity and fortitude. And I thought, again, I got that chill. I was like, that's the heart of the story we're telling. That's the positive spirit of humanity we're trying to, um, to, to show in, the, in this musical. So um, that very day, I went back to my piano with that word ringing in my ears, gaman. And I knew that it needed to have a sort of a bitter sweetness to it because even while they're triumphing, they're also enduring. And, and even while they are hopeful, they're also uh, trapped. And so um, I wanted the, the music to sort of sway between those two feelings, a, a major to minor pull. So that's why we have the major to minor. In the show, there's a, a scene where something really ugly, which is this uh, questionnaire that gets given to all internees to figure out who's loyal and who's disloyal. But something really ugly, this piece of paper, gets turned by Oji Chan into something really beautiful, this little origami flower. And he gives it to Kay, uh, Leia's character, for her to put in her hair and gets a, a, a smile out of her. So the origami flower becomes the symbol for the resilience of building something beautiful out of the ugliness that was the situation in which um, the characters find themselves. The next thing was to try and find an origami master to actually really build this flower for us so that we can um, you know, photograph it and color it and build our brand, our logo, out of it. This logo is now being printed and put on so many different materials. It's being used for digital, for social media, and for the first time, um, we're excited because the marquee is going to go up. Happen. You didn't? Well, I, did. I wanted it to happen. <laughs> It's exciting. 